Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Karine, a mom of two and a Montessori teacher. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour at IKEA and I'm going to show you uh, what they have that's going to help you to make your house Montessori friendly and what you can use from IKEA to make some little Montessori activities. So let's go! First, I'm going to show you some child-sized table and they have this famous uh, coffee table called Lat that is extremely cheap um, so it's very easy to cut it, to trim it to size if you want it and maybe to buy another one when your child has own grow the one that you have trimmed and they have some plastic version as well that are super cheap if you are on a budget and uh, they have also this little tray table um, that is a bit more expensive but you can use it as a messy tray uh, table uh, you cannot move the tray out of the table but you know it's multi-purpose you can use it obviously for yourself as well now let me show you some furniture that you can use to uh, display walks and activities uh, for your children. The, this LAC uh, TV bench is quite cheap and very long and uh, it's very practical. This one is a very cheap also a plastic uh, metallic uh, drawer so it's quite easy you know to reuse in different way and very easy for the child to open and close to put the clothes in or some uh, you know loose part toys or some kind of blocks and so on uh, this one is a bench but you can use it to display toys and activities or you can use it you know obviously to sit on it and uh, you can see uh, my child um, so it's nearly reaching the floor <laughs> And uh, the IKEA Kallax is very popular among Montessori family and now I like that they have a special insert uh, making it more practical. And uh, in the bathroom uh, area of IKEA you will find many benches that are not expensive and that are very practical as well and shoe racks can be also used uh, to display toys and activities. I personally like this um, office furniture. It's a metallic storage and it's super easy to assemble by yourself and you can use it in multiple ways. I have it in my home uh, as a storage in the hallway so I didn't put the feet on like that they can sit on. I will link to a video about my hallway so you're going to see it but uh, you know you can use it in the kitchen, you can use it as a art storage, you can use it you know as a toy storage, as a, a storage for clothes and you have um, these little things in the door that you can use uh, to store other stuff or to put some hooks on. Uh, it's very very um, you know, you can really use it in multiple ways and you have different colors as well so it can be very colorful and different sizes and you don't have to use a feet so you can just put them uh, straight away on the ground or use a feet if you think it's uh, more useful for you and you can obviously uh, fix them on the wall as well so it's very uh, flexible, versatile uh, storage solution. And you can add you know these little extra shelves inside baskets and so on it's it's very and it's not expensive so you can really have that as a temporary storage when your children are little if you want to have something specific in the kitchen uh, for them for the time being when they need that extra storage for their own belongings and then you can reuse it maybe in the office or in your garage um, so yeah it's so at IKEA they have two kinds of eye chairs and um, this one is very, it's pretty much a baby eye chair so your child is not able to go in and out of the eye chair uh, but it's you know easy to clean so and cheap and flexible in that sense but I would prefer this kind of chair uh, as soon as your child can walk and can um, climb on the chair on and off uh, this kind of junior eye chair are just much better and here another one a wooden version of this one so it's an alternative of those kind of very expensive uh, toddler eye chair that you might find. So if you are interested uh, with, in the idea of the floor bed, uh, IKEA has several uh, cot beds that you can uh, have totally open on one side that you can use straight away as a floor bed. They're very low so you can just add a little mat next to the bed obviously or you can use a mattress straight away on the floor on a slated base that's what I've done with my own children 
and you know it's not a very expensive option because you can see that the mat is just 40 pounds and then the cut is uh, 59 pounds so it's not an expensive option and yeah if you really want to use it as a cut at the beginning obviously that's totally possible and they have used it as well um, as a kind of a sofa in a living room uh, setting uh, so yeah you can use it that way as well it's a more expensive one but yeah it's again it's a cut bed that you can have open on one side and here you can see what they've done in the living room which is quite cute like uh, put the shelf in shape of a house for closed storage, uh, IKEA has many solutions for children's size closed storage. So this one is called the Stuva collection and you have different doors, different drawers, different interiors and you can really see that it's uh, very easy to open and close and really at the child level. In terms of clothes hunger, I really like this clothes rack in shape of a tree and you can decide to put it at your child level and that can be reused also by the adults at a later stage. Now let me show you a few things that are interesting in the kitchen area, in the cooking section. So this is an apron that is super easy for the child to put on and off. And uh, my child is uh, six in this uh, video, so you can, no, not even six there. And it's not expensive at all, it's just 250 so it's a nice investment. They have another set at the, um, is, um, that you have that the child has to tie, oh, so it's not as easy for the child to put on and off by himself. And you can see all the little uh, children's size accessories like the oven gloves and so on. And you can see that my daughter, who is older, is well able to put it on uh, all by herself. And they have obviously many, many options in terms of tray uh, or bowls. These wooden bowls are very cute and uh, non-breakable. Uh, so that's quite good for little hands. Uh, I like this glass uh, that it's only um, 17 centiliters. So it's the right size uh, for a young child to learn to drink. And they have you now a water dispenser, a glass water dispenser uh, that can be very useful if you want to do a snack area and uh, access to water with this kind of water dispenser. IKEA has also a very small uh, tray. They are cheap and every year, I think, or uh, every few years, they changed uh, they change the design, so I have a purple one for example and now they have this kind of design and also they have so many uh, baskets of all sizes and all, of all kinds so just if you need baskets you can go there you will find many baskets um, to your own taste. IKEA has also many mirror options. I like this one because you can uh, use it in any rooms or make you know, a little uh, self-care area for your child. And these ones are also safety mirror. You can see them, some kind of like a, a traveling mirror that with a suction. Uh, this one is also uh, quite interesting. It's um, a pack with everything you need for your child. And this one are safety mirror that you uh, stick on the wall. Last time I went to IKEA, there are many children's corner in every room to show you what you can do. So here you have like a kind of reading corner with a rocking chair and a canopy. And here another way to display books and even a little art area and that, uh, that's a spice rack that everybody using to uh, display books uh, and here they have used a curtain rail to add the roll of paper and you can see the man magnetic um, um, hook 
and yeah, I have that on my fridge, but I've used it here to hold the paper in place. And this one is a book display flizat. Okay, there are many ways to create an art corner, an art area in your house, and to use some of the um, IKEA storage and baskets and so on to have uh, to display, you know, crayons. Uh, pen brushes and so on. So I'm going to show you what I would use. This one is a napkin holder and I've used napkin holder from IKEA to display my inset paper. Uh, they are very useful to just display uh, some papers uh, and some cardboard and so on uh, in my uh, children's art corner. I really like this little plastic box they are very cheap, they're not super easy to open, so it's a way to keep you know, small items away from little hands and uh, maybe that's a way for your toddlers, to your preschooler, your preschooler to be able to use some small items away from the baby. And this one is in fact a plant, a plant display, but I thought it would be very uh, useful to it could be a good way to display crayons and uh, art supplies and to hang it on the wall in your art area. It, I think it was a very good idea and I definitely something that I would like to do. And it's not very expensive uh, to have you know, a wall display of art supplies at your child's level. And it's only 18 pounds. See another child size tables with a little uh, stool and uh, another uh, book display that's from that collection called Flizat. So the, the stool is from that collection. The table is a quitter table, so it's child size as well. And that's another art area that you can make, you know, for the books or you can put some art supplies there as well. Another one that's at the, uh, at the end of a kitchen uh, corner, but here you have a magnetic uh, board, a uh, wipeable magnetic board, and then again I think that from the kitchen section, a kitchen rail with a kitchen pot, and so it's very cheap, it's just 150 for the rail and 50p for each pot, and so it's very, you know, practical way again. And you have a little art area at the end of your kitchen furniture. And here it's a desk for all the children, but this little add-on section can be used as a little shelf with books on the top, or maybe art supplies at the top, and some little activities under. And I think that was a very you know, nice way to display a few art activities on a tray uh, for very young children. It's just 15 pounds, so then you can reuse it in another way uh, when your child has overall this kind of uh, display system. This one is in fact a wall shelf and I really like it because it's quite flexible the way you can use it and you can add hooks and obviously it's useful for books, it's useful to display art supply again, it's useful to just display you know uh, your child's drawing um, yeah and it can be used later on definitely in a kitchen area and for by the adults. So obviously IKEA has many toys options and I really like the kitchen toys um, choices and they have, they have you know pots and pans that are child size but realistic and they have a tea set that is breakable so that you can really use it for proper uh, activities and as well as uh, just a print and play activities and they have the felt food items uh, that they can use, you know, obviously again in print and play and just open and play, but you can also make some little matching activities with these or learning about uh, healthy eating and so on. They have these wooden numbers uh, that are not super realistic, but you could use them 
uh, to do your card encounters activities and uh, you know to learn the numbers to recognize the numbers and so on I do like the baby gym the wooden baby gym uh, because it's quite simple it's not over stimulating and you can remove uh, the little toys and replace by something more Montessori friendly if you wanted to add baby mobile the Montessori baby mobile that would be possible with this kind of baby gym they have also a wooden mug holder that is very uh, useful if you do a treasure basket with some kind of uh, bracelets and rings and all the toy section is great it's uh, natural materials mostly there is a bit of plastic uh, but it all goes together and it's not over stimulating and you can even make them um, uh, give them to your children in a more simple way and yeah I really do like the toys at IKEA they have also a lot of art supplies I didn't show you absolutely everything in this video so just check the description box below because I've included a free PDF with uh, all my recommendations, the proper links and the proper name for each materials or for each uh, item that I've shown you in this video and more and you can check that out and download it and use it next time you go to IKEA to shop for your Montessori uh, needs. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you next week. Bye!